Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of, uh, List of the Eternity Issue, which I just couldn't, I just had, I have to do one more episode today, uh, whew. Uh, last episode, I got a little bit awkward, Lucy walked in with me on, in the shower, but thankfully, I was able to keep my towel over my, my, <laughs> yep, but, uh, still. I mean, and she does not find it awkward at all, but I guess that's because she's a robot, as I said last episode, but I'm almost finished with my studies for the day. I'll take the time and realize it's getting pretty late. Well, apparently not. It's, the sun's still out. I look around the room, but Nora's loose. Mm. I look around the room, but Lucy's nowhere to be seen. What could she be doing? Making dinner. I suck at a little curious. I get up my chair. I get. I get up from my chair to go look for Lucy. What? Who's knocking? Oh, there you are. Speak of the devil, at that very moment, Lucy enters my room. <laughs> what, was you waiting for me to get curious and look for you? No, probably not. Probably convenience. Plot convenience. What were you doing? Music. Okay, yep, music's too loud. What could have possibly taken her so long? My curiosity is at its peak. But I hold back from questioning her further. Instead, I asked something else. Yeah, this music played just... A couple episodes ago, by the way. 네, 모르는 것이 있으신가요? No, stop asking that. How was it like when you were at the lab? 연구소요? Yeah. Oh, that, that was a very little text. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> that was a very big pause between the two texts there. Um, did you get along with anyone there? Um, that's good. I don't trust Lucy when she calls people nice. <laughs> Why do you say that? I wonder if she's ever insulted anyone in her life. Mm. Yeah, she's a little bit too nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, really? Your creator? Well, at least I assume he's a... He said that, right? That, yeah, doctor. Doctor? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> That's not me. The only part is the mustache, and I guess calm. When I guess mature, in comparison to most people my age who go out drinking and partying every night, I don't do that. Hmm. Well, I sure hope so. What about me? No, I'm kidding. Do you want to see him again? So, now that they said it's probably going to happen. Oh, hopefully under... Uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, <laughs> Are you getting a little bit jealous there? You? <laughs> but what about me? I see. What? Don't however me. She stops for a moment. What, could you, could you detect the jealousy too? 나중에, 나중에 된다면, <laughs> she fucking hates me. 그때에도 박사님을 볼 기회가 온다면, 그때는 박사님과 같이 지내고 싶어요. Uh, I see. So basically he's your second choice. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Aww. Uh, but are, are you satisfied with that? He treated you better than I ever did, right? He knows a lot about robots, too. I don't. And he'd probably be a better person to rely on whenever something happens. Wouldn't it be better for you to serve him as a master instead? I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Lucy는 오랫동안 쭉 여기서 주인님 곁에 있고 싶으니까요. I'm sure you do. 지금 이 생활에 만족하고 있으니까요. Okay, that's cool. 그러니까 그런 말씀은 하지 말아 주세요. Make me. I see. I thought that I was being being silly. Able to find comfort in the words of a mere robot. I, I, I truly felt like an idiot. Uh, shut up. No, you. I was saying no, you too. I'm 
to him, not to myself. Oh, in fact, the, it, it, cause, it's not because your your mom gay joke. Me and Ryan and, and other people, we uh, we say no you. We 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 started that thing before it was a meme on YouTube and well on the internet. The your mom gay no you. We we did that. We did that since we started. He's like, we we we. we, we. I was I was like, it was Christ tag to me. So I said, here hold this. He said, no you. And he shoots something at me. So. I'm not taking their joke. They took my joke. Not not exactly though, because they didn't know I made the joke first, so that's not how it works. But school ended a bit earlier than usual today, and Luce is all waiting for me at home, I'm guessing. I heard that they were celebrating something, but I already forgot what it was. Don't even care. It's probably nothing important. I hurry home to where Lucy's waiting for me. As always. <laughs> Why'd you show that scene if you're just gonna take it here anyways? Lucy wasn't waiting for me outside. At this early hour, that's to be expected. She's probably doing some housework. Hmm. She'll be surprised that, to know that I'm home already. I'm kind of looking forward to how she, she'll react. Hoo <laughs> Really? Yeah, she fuck. Oh no. Please tell me he's not home. There must be some chips on my pants or something. Lucy wasn't in the living room either. I thought maybe she had gone to help out the shop, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Hey, you, you, well, you didn't check her, so you don't know. I hear a faint sound of someone humming. Okay, yeah, she's here. It's, it's, she's humming. Mm. What you doing, Lucy? I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> I make my way towards the source of the sound. Oh, she's doing laundry, okay. For a minute, I, I, I almost thought something else, but I find Lucy there. She's so cute. She's so happy. She's such a happy, go lucky robot. She, she reminds me of Sayori, except without the depression. <laughs> I couldn't tell what she was doing at first, but upon a closer look, I could see that she's doing some laundry by hand. By hand? Why, it's silently watching. I think to myself, do you not have a, uh, the washing machine's working fine, so why is she doing this? <laughs> yeah. I was about to call out to her, I stopped myself. I noticed a mountain of fresh shirts piled up beside her, and another pile of pants right next to it. Fresh shirts? I could tell how much there were just by looking, but it was probably something that entered the three, three, three digits. Uh, I was more perplexed than surprised. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> Why are you surprised? See? How does it feel to be walked on when, you, when you're when not expecting it, huh? How's it feel? Hmm, how's it feel? Yes. I'm asking you what is going on here. <laughs> what the fuck? It's too late for that now. Now you know how I feel. I'm not in the mood to go along with her foolishness. What are you trying to hide? I pressured Lucy with a silent stare. See the washing machine's right there, Lucy. What? Oh, she's trying to make herself look like she's better than the washing machine. I get it. She's like, I can wash these much better than the freaking washing machine can. Oh, she's trying to be a better robot than that robot. The robot washing machine robot. What exactly is all this? Who's? He said he says about dresses, though. Lies. Even with all our clothes combined, they'll probably be much smaller than that. Just how many people... Just how many do you have here? No, I don't know why. Where is this all from? You said something about a dress, didn't you? Lucy only returns a nervous glance. She doesn't respond. Looks like my father brought home every... Everyone... <laughs> looks like my father brought home every, everyone's clothes from work. I was wondering what you've been doing lately out of my sight, but I guess this is it, huh? <laughs> When are you supposed to be done with this by? What? Yeah, come on, tell me it's truth. Come on. You don't possibly mean today, right? Uh. It appears I was correct. It'd be impossible to go through this amount in a single day, though. But whose laundry, whose laundry is it? Does this happen often? I'm asking if my father's toys with you like this all the time. 
<laughs> Wait, so is it actually his freaking all of the people that his work? Quit laughing, you moron. There's nothing funny about this. Oh, don't get so angry. I would. I wonder why my father would do something like this. Hmm. It's almost as if he actually finds her useful now. It's probably because he wanted a reason to talk down to Lucy. Or maybe he's confusing this place with the dry cleaning facility. <laughs> Even so, the way he's going on about this puts me at a loss for words. It's so childish that it makes me laugh. Is he trying to make a modern Cinderella film? <laughs> you do my laundry for me. <laughs> Just don't. What? <laughs> She's like, sorry? You don't have to do this. Why would you be doing laundry for complete strangers? There's a washing machine right here. Just leave it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, come on, she's trying to she's trying to impress him. She's trying to get him to like her. To that, that way we can, she so oh so that way you can have that way you don't have to leave me. She, she yeah, I mean I knew that, but still. Exactly. And she doesn't want uh, him to get rid of her because she wants to be with Master. Master so she can help me. Out. Are you, are you in it? Are you? No, just look how much there is. He's obviously asking for the impossible. So that way he can talk <laughs> down on Like, you couldn't even do this, but fucking, you freaking piece of junk. Yeah, if he, is, if he is able to do it, and I'm kind of actually distracting her from doing what she's trying to do, so it, this isn't helping the situation. <laughs> you don't know his father then. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> you're so funny. That's not it. Alright, this certainly is different from Cinderella. <laughs> Here is a girl who is completely oblivious, uh, oblivious to a person's ill intent. Lucy doesn't. Oh, I think this, that, there might be another Disney movie that might apply to. Lucy doesn't feel she's that unfortunate. She doesn't feel that my father's demands are unfair. Ridiculousness. Absurdity. It's likely that these type of words don't even exist in her vocabulary at all. Since all I could do is point out her flaws from afar, it's frustrating for me. Frustrating. It's like watch, watch, hey, hey come on. That might be a offensive to some people. It causes pain for the p person looking after. It. Well, that's true. While the ch when the child herself doesn't have a care in the world, a Cinderella that does not wish to be saved, the mice that turn into horses, lizards that turn into footmen. <laughs> The pumpkin that turns into a carriage. And the prince waiting for Cinderella. Hmm, who's that? She doesn't need any of those in the first place. However. Ah, oh, jeez. What, what, what? Hmm. I like this choice. I'm gonna save it, this one. I'm gonna save it right here. I'm not in the episode, though. It's... This is a strange spot to, spot to... Usually someone says something to me that uh, spawns one of these... I'm gonna help her out. She, she, if she wants, to, well, no, actually, that's not. Actually, that might not be a good idea. Because if I help her, then the, the guy he might think that uh, she needed my she needed my help to do this. But again, then again, if I help, he'll be like, hey, you're not actually not doing anything lazy for once. But still, he might think that oh, she was only able to do this with your help. So, as much as I want to help her out, I think I might. It might be better if I... I don't know if this actually affect anything, but that's why I saved here. So I can go come back if I don't like what happened. But usually... Usually I, I'm... Maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking it and I could just help her out. And he probably won't even come home. But, oh well. It, maybe it'd be better to just leave her alone. I leave Lisa to her own... I'm, I'm actually going to check to see how, what would have happened. Not now, but... I leave Lucy to her own devices and silently head towards my room. If you want, I'll show it before the end of the episode. Oh no. Oh no. I hear something bu bustling coming from the front door. Oh, did I make the right choice? Uh, it appears that my father has returned. Oh, I, I knew it. Oh, uh, but hopefully, hopefully she's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's not done yet. He's probably gonna get mad. God damn it. Lucy sets down her iron and hops over to the front door to greet her. You shouldn't call him father. 
I could hear their voices all the way from here. Oh, I'm in the room. Hmm. Oh. In the OC, in the end, Lucy didn't manage to get all the laundry done. Oh, in the end, Lucy didn't manage to get all the laundry done. Hmm, I wonder why. Nothing would have changed even if I'd helped her. Yo, 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 I'll check that. It's just as I expected. Oh yeah. You know what? How about this? I'll save this right here. How about this? Let's let's see, let's test that red. Let's test that save. Let's excuse you. Excuse you. Fucking get out of here, Windows Media Player. Excuse you. <laughs> I agree with them. Machines, robots, this laptop, freaking useless. It's not really. It's helping me play this game. So now let's load. See, let's see what it happened. Let's test that theory. What would have happened if I clicked? So this will be the first one so far that I actually tried both choices. Because it actually might affect it. Let's help her out. <laughs> Let's help her out, everybody. I shouldn't leave her alone. Knowing the situation, I no longer can. Reluctantly, I extend my hand. I'll help you. Come closer. What, are you going to deny my help? I know, I know. You don't need my help, right? But it doesn't matter. I'm not doing this for your sake, so it doesn't matter what you think. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> yeah, this is actually for my sake. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It doesn't matter if you don't understand. Just, just take it as you will. Take it as you will, yeah. Yes, I'm insisting. Let me help. You're welcome. Even though, like I just said, I, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for me. It looks like she finally came in. But even with that said, I wonder if there's any, anything I really can help do to help out. The only washing machine we have here is already going at full throttle. Oh, so she is using it, too. There's only one thing... There's only one... There's only so much this tiny thing can manage. There won't even be enough time. What, what tiny thing? <laughs> Uh, talk about the washer. Uh, uh, looks like I'll have to join Lucy in doing the laundry by hand. It'd be more efficient to cram the clothes into a single large bucket and wash them all at the same time. But it might leave behind something that my father can nitpick about. There's no choice. I mean, that technically was a choice, but I roll up my sleeves and get to work alongside Lucy. What am I doing in this day and age? It's like choosing to make fire with six... It's like choosing to make fire with sticks and stones when you already have a working stove. Yeah. So, let's see, did, it, did, it, did that choice make a difference? Uh -huh, let's find out. Well, we're still in here, so... This music uh, sounds cheerful. The results aren't looking too bad. Lucy and I and the washing machine are all hard at work. We're making a lot of progress. Even so, the end is nowhere to be seen. Jeez. The towering pile of dress search hasn't gotten that much smaller. Is that part of the music? The little, the little clapping noise. Just the mere sight of it causes me to... <sighs> Alright, bring it on. I motivated myself once more. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Motivate, motion, put, put some motivational music on. Come on, we're gonna do it, everybody. Now that I've already become a part of this, I'm definitely happy to finish by tonight. No matter what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna clean this line. These kids are not right. That's not even the song, it's not even not and that song must have just ended. At that moment Lucy returns from hanging out the wash clothes to dry. It's getting chilly lately. Still, they were dry in about three or four hours under direct sunlight even in the winter. But that's probably too much to hope for. This house only contains two male residents. Who would have thought a clothes dryer would ever come in handy? It seems like we have, we'll have to iron the clothes after they've dried it for a bit. We still have a long way to go, I know. My hands never stop moving. After a while, my thought suddenly comes to mind. Is there anything else? I can think of something. What my father asked you to do, is there anything else? Oh, jeez, come on. 
in storage, we haven't even touched anything of them for at least six years. Oh jeez. It's a place submerged in cobwebs and dust. It won't be so easy to take the gunk off everything. And it's not like there's anything inside that we can use. It's simply unnecessary. It's just more redundant work that my father chose to dump on Lucy. Come on, seriously? It's nothing. You could just set all that we that you just told on your head to her. And you get and whatever. Let's just get this out first. I found myself putting out more strength into my fingers. That's what he said. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, still here. Jeez. It's dark. Is it raining outside or is that the washing machine? Quite a long time has passed. It's already dark outside. As if we had done an equivalent exchange with time, the mountain of dress shirts has nearly disappeared. I never expected to be able to finish it when I started. Oh, oh, was he wrong? Did I actually get to... Hmm, did I actually change the outcome? <laughs> I never expected to be able to... Um, but the end was finally drawing near. It looks like we'll somehow manage to get it done by today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me we're done enough to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he right? Is he... Is he does it... I hear some bustling coming from the front door. It appears that my father has returned. Oh, jeez. Lucy sits down around and hops over to the front door to greet him. So it's basically the same. Except I'm in here. Okay, this time it's dark. I can hear the voices all the way from here. Why is this one dark and the other one isn't? I was... I'm, I'm guessing I was in the room last time. Why is... It? His voice had an unusually cheerful tone to it. You'd better be finished, or there will be consequences. Oh. <laughs> it was that kind of voice. Okay, why'd you say cheerful? That's not... Oh, no. Almost done? He sounds surprised. <laughs> oh, but don't let him know you helped. Don't let him know you helped. Like I said, that's... He probably wasn't expecting that kind of answer. <laughs> now that I know for certain that he really did ask Lucy for something he thought would be impossible. And he was planning to scold her when he, she failed to finish it. See? You're just trying to make her look bad. Trying to give her an impossible task so you can give her yourself a reason to make her look bad. But please get out of the... Make sure you, she can't tell that you're in that... Please get out of the laundry room. Oh no. Oh no, please. Before I knew it, my father had already entered the room. He was standing at the front door staring at me. Fuck! Like I said! You. What do you think you're doing? I was just using the bathroom. I was using the bathroom, okay? As you can see, oh, fuck you, why, why, why? You, you, it's the bad, I, you're not, not supposed to go at an angle. As you can see, I'm doing the laundry. I don't remember asking you to do such a thing. I'm just helping her out a little bit because there's a lot to be done. Fuck. You're, you, it clearly wasn't something Lucy could handle by herself. Oh, this is going to be an argument, isn't it? For all, my father doesn't say a word. He silently holds back his anger. How despicable. Appearing frustrated, my father continues. So you forced someone to help because you thought you wouldn't be able to finish it by yourself? You're the one you... I can't believe such a disgraceful robot exists. Oh, you're talking to Lucy. I'm like... Uh, Actually, I... Lucine. I forced myself to help her. She, didn't, she told me not to. I had to finally catch up to him. Lucy tries to explain the situation, but my father isn't in the mood to listen. I don't want to hear any excuses. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it now. My father violently pushes Lucy aside. Her thin, fragile body slams against the wall. Did I pick the bad choice? Her arms and legs lose their strength and sprawl across the floor. What? Couldn't imme immediately process what just happened. Well, I'm about to punch the shit out of this guy, ain't I? Before, because of that, my reaction was delayed. What are you doing? I, I run over to Lucy and help her. Up. I thought I was gonna run over to, to. I hurriedly checked her condition. I don't know how much about machines, but it doesn't seem like there's any significant damage. I quietly breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, thank God. I turn around and glare at my father. Punch the shit out of him. You, you knew that. I was the one that offered to help her. So why are you taking it out on Lucy? It's because that robot didn't do its job properly. Such an unreliable robot is worthless. It should be disposed of. Isn't it your fault in your place, you old fart? 
You were forcing her to do the impossible. Old fart! You dare me call me an old fart? Do the laundry for all my co co-workers. Clean the storage room that we haven't touched in years. Why are you making me do all this meaningless crap? What, exa what, do you, what exactly do you have against that? What do you mean, what do I have against it? You turn on a machine to, to use it. You don't keep it powered on without a purpose. Robots were created to work. They were created to handle all the tedious chores in place of us humans. Before, you didn't want it to do that. What's wrong with making a machine do some work when it's the purpose of its existence is to serve people? But this isn't something she needs to do. Plus, you can't expect her to do it so fast when you're giving her the impossible task. Come on now. Are you talking about cleaning up the storage room? I've always been meaning to do that myself. I've just been postponing it. But even so, there's no need to force it on her all at once, since it's not even important. It, it doesn't matter whether it's important or not. It's better to put the robot into some use in, in some productive way to, than to keep it sitting in the back. To me, you're the one that's being strange. What do you mean? Aren't you being too obsessed with the robot? You're not confusing this robot with a real person, are you? His words are putting me on the defensive. For some reason, I begin to well up with anger. Look at her. Come on. Just come on. Take a look at her. She talks and, and acts exactly like a real person. Come on. Don't say that. And do you still believe that she has no feelings of her own? Can you really say that without any doubts? Yeah, I can. <laughs> You're the one who's being delusional. No matter how close up to a person that robot may be, it's not real. It's nothing but a toy imitating a person. It may act just like a real human being, but in the end, it's only a robot. It's a fake. Do not be fooled by its appearance. Why is it that you cannot t tell apart what is real and what is not? Shut up. You're no different from those people who's lost their souls to these wretched imitations. What do you mean lost their souls? And can I really call you my own son? Get a hold of yourself. I'd bite down hard on my lips. I can taste the saltiness of the blood. I can take the saltiness. <laughs> oh, you're getting a little bit salty there, aren't you? I open my, my mouth. I open my mouth in an attempt to say something bad. I'm stopped by Lucy. Lucy grabs onto me. You okay, Lucy? Me? Uh, uh. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, I guess... Mm. Lucy is smiling. Lucy is smiling like a total fool. Lucy is smiling as if nothing happened. Like everything is fine. Jeez. I bet if you tried to hit me, what would you do? These episodes keep being over 30 minutes. And I know she's not putting on a fake smile. That's why for a split second it made me see her as nothing but an ordinary robot. Her lack of self-will. Her blind obedience to father made me see her as a robot. And it was frustrating. It was frustrating that I saw her that way. I was mad at Lucy for smiling away for like a fool. I was at my, at my father for being so stubborn. And I was mad at myself for the most for having trouble finding the words to say back to him. I know, right? <laughs> me. All the time. And just like that, I returned to my room. I locked the door and jumped under the blankets. I wonder while staring at the ceiling lights. I wonder what would happen if I... Uh, what am I expecting from Lucy? How am, I, how am I supposed to treat Lucy? I'm all over the same questions that even though it feels as if I'd never be able to reach a conclu conclusion. Am I going to have to pick something? Or is the scene over? Send Rowan, what's that mean? Okay, still me. I'm at school, apparently. Okay, well, I'm gonna save this scene for later. I'm in the distance. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna save this scene for later. I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'm gonna save this to this one. But, before I end the episode, if this doesn't last too long, I'm going to... See what would happen if this, if something similar would have happened here. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, no, 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 not this one. This is the fourth choice. This one. Over here. 
robot shortage uses. No, no, for certain. Okay. <laughs> is this, is this, is this the same thing? Uh, I don't want to hear any excuses. Oh, my father ignores Lucy's words and stops off towards his room. Hmm. Well, that was better. So, uh, hmm. I figured it would turn. So I was right in my first guess that I shouldn't help because it would just make him think that she's even more useless of a robot. I figured it would turn out this way, but it still is irritating to see it, it actually happened before me. Yeah, I figured I would turn out the way, but from before. <laughs> That's the, first, the second time I mean. Leaving behind a depressed Lucy in the living room, I also make my way towards my room. Goddamn. <laughs> I could have finished this off and then went back. Damn, that's the end of this episode. So, things are getting dramatic again, and he's having trouble figuring out why the heck he's having trouble remembering that. Sometimes, it, it, you gotta remember, she's a robot. Remember, she's a robot, not a real person. She's she's fake, but like you said before, though, she, she she's there in front of me. How can you not say that's it's somewhat sort of it's 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 real to an extent. It, Feelings might not be exactly real, but they're real to an extent. They're an imitation, but you know what? Some people imitate emotions also. They fake things to get things. So, you know what? Humans aren't that real either. If that's, if that's, if that's fake, then, like I said, girls are pretty fake also. That's why 2D better than 3D. I, I think Lucy's more real than many of the girls I know are. Well, sort of. Not all of them. Not all of them. So if any of my ex wives don't, 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 don't think it's about you, but chances are it's about you. <laughs> but probably not, because none of my exes would watch this. <laughs> Except, what, well, whatever. Uh, but that's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Lucy, be sure to leave a like and comment down below, let me know you did, and subscribe for more. See ya! <laughs>